Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Eisenberg Skin Care. Welcome to our channel. This is a channel where we talk about the science of skin care from a cosmetic chemist and a manufacturing point of view. Today, we're gonna to talk about glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is a very popular ingredient. It's almost like a buzzword. Uh, glycolic acid, what is it? Glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. It is used to exfoliate the skin. It causes cell turnover. Glycolic acid comes from sugar cane. It is a very small molecule. And because it's a very small molecule, it is a very efficient and powerful exfoliant. Alpha hydroxy. It's very powerful. It's, they call it the queen mother of the um, AHAs because it does work very well, because its ability to penetrate and stick and go down into the deeper levels of the skin surface on the skin and cause this shedding or exfoliation, the cell turnover. So this is really good to help, you know, brighten your skin. It's going to help with uh, cell turnover, smooth your skin. It's gonna help with superficial imperfections on your skin. It does help with a bit of collagen production as well. So glycolic acid is a very useful ingredient. You'll find it formulated in a variety of ways, high concentration and low concentration of glycolic acid. What's interesting about glycolic acid is when you start using glycolic acid the first few times, it works very well and you feel it. Like you're like, wow, you know, this is really exfoliating my skin. And after about a week or two, you're using the same cleanser or you're using the same serum or using the same product and you're like, eh, I don't feel anything. The reason is your skin starts to build up a tolerance to glycolic acid. So what happens then is people think, well, it's not really working. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go for a stronger glycolic at a lower pH and a stronger glycolic the next time at a lower pH because what happens with glycolic acid is your skin does start to get used to it. So that's why I like to cycle glycolic acids. I actually prefer a low dose glycolic, not too high of a dose glycolic, because again, when you start playing with the concentration of glycolic acid, it is efficient, it is effective, but it also can be sensitizing and drying to the skin, right? So you wanna be able to utilize glycolic acids that are in a good zone um, that you can use on a regular basis. You, you wanna be able to use it every day or every other day without irritation. Uh, too much irritation or uh, without sensitivity. So that's a good formulation of glycolic acid. So glycolic acid is a great ingredient. It's an effective ingredient. It comes from sugar cane. Um, and it does have a lot of benefits for the skin texture and tone. It can be used all over the body, uh, which is really great too. So you'll find uh, it in a lot of type of washes and formulas. Although glycolic acid is a friendly ingredient and a very good ingredient, has a lot of great benefits as an exfoliant and alpha hydroxy acid, you wanna be careful with its dosage and not to use it with very aggressive exfoliants as well. So you don't wanna add it on like an exfoliant with an exfoliant or the glycolic on top of a very powerful Retin-A or retinoic acid. You wanna keep those separated because you don't want to cause this kind of sensitivity. So I would caution um, the glycolic acid with um, the retinoic acid. Try to keep those two at different parts of your daytime, day and night routine, right? Do the retinol, at, the retinoic acid at nighttime, do your glycolic in the daytime or every other day for the glycolic, but never at the same time with something very, very harsh and very, very exfoliating. One of the things I really, really like about glycolic acid is that glycolic acid has the ability to change the pH of your skin. So when you're thinking why this is important, I'll tell you, right, okay. So you're, for health, to be healthy, they say your skin needs to be acidic and your insides need to be alkaline, right? So one year to help make your skin acidic is glycolic acid it actually has that pH ability. So when you cleanse your skin with glycolic acid, for example, even a low dose, that's why we have a glycolic cleanser that I really, really love. And we designed that glycolic cleanser specifically to be used with vitamin C serums. Because we know to make vitamin C serums work better, 
It works better in an acidic environment. So to get your skin to be the right environment, the glycolic acid can help with the pH and do that. So actually glycolic acid works really well or with vitamin C. It's a really good partner, a really good pairing to really bring down that skin's pH and to really create that optimal environment for the vitamin C to work more efficiently. Glycolic acid with salicylic acid is one of my kind of favorite duos. And the reason is, glycolic acid is um, an alpha hydroxy acid that works on what I like to call the water part of the skin, right? It is more water soluble, it's, um, it's gonna work more on that, that surface cell, okay? So the surface part that you see. Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid, right? So you have alpha hydroxy acid, which is glycolic acid, and you have beta hydroxy acid, which is the salicylic acid. So they're two different types. The salicylic acid loves oil. It attaches itself to oil. So what does that do? So you have a water component with the glycolic, you have an oil component with the salicylic, salicylic and the salicylic acid has this beautiful ability especially for those of you with enlarged pores blackheads oily skin has the ability of being able to dissolve the sebum and the oil and to get into the follicle glycolic acid can't do that so if you actually have oily skin enlarged pores or you notice that every time you touch your skin like it just all the sebum comes up and out right and you're saying, but I'm using all this AHA, and you're only using glycolic, right? It's only dealing with the surface. It's like wiping the top, but not getting through the cracks. The salicylic acid is the one that gets through the cracks, gets in there. So that is another really great pairing for oily, problematic skin types. You get a deeper clean, you get more balanced clean, they work more synergistically together. The other thing is, Unlike glycolic acid, your skin does not get used to salicylic acid. So salicylic acid, use it at about a 2% formulation, one to 2% formulation, that's it. You never go up in concentration. Your skin will always respond the same with it. It's very, very good that way, very predictable. Glycolic, you do build a tolerance. So when you marry the two together, you still have a very efficient way of exfoliating your skin and treating your skin texture. So that's a really good pairing together. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and discussing glycolic acid. I look forward to our next conversation.